And then here is the tree house. And see this tree trunk is really taking up quite a lot of room and there's a little baby tree growing out of it. So we would need to um, remove these things. And then there would just be a little opening right here that would need to be sealed off. And um, as you can see, there is sun that can come through here. If we're doing these things in the evening, that's not a problem. But during the day, we may need to put some type of tarp or covering to, you know, make it. Um, but one, two, I feel like this would be 10 people comfortably. Um, yeah, I feel like this area would be 10 people comfortably. And all Susan, welcome to our temple. So here's what this is. These are part of the original structure that you saw in the video. So it's a square, it's a perfect square, and right now it has the roof. This is where the tree goes, we're gonna cut the tree down. This is where the ladder is, this is where it will be. Now, what I plan to do is the um, wires are, are built right now on these concrete uh, structures, bases. I'm not sure what to call them technically. I will have a uh, really strong pieces of wood that will go on top of the concrete structures or pillars. One here, one here. These are those. Everything is in different colors because I wanted to um, represent different materials. Then, once those are in place, those will come out past the pillars about one, maybe two, two feet. That part I haven't decided yet because this is where I need your assistance to ask how far can they come out without having an additional structure because this... That, that means that this part will be floating in midair. It, there isn't going to be support for it because the pillar start, stops here. So this part, there's, there's going to be nothing under it. How far can we extend it so that it would s still um, be structurally sound? That's question number one. Then we will extend the whole structure by then taking these really strong pieces of wood and we will lay them on top of these guys. So that's gonna be our floor. So that comes out. So then that means that this part is now floating in midair, right? So that's why we also have to figure out how far we can make these so that um, people can still sit here without this having any support from the ground. I'm guessing it will be uh, maybe two feet or three feet, I'm not, I'm not sure. That's what, I, that's what I would need you for. Um, and I will send you the material that I plan to use. It's uh, the usual boards. This is our chandelier, by the way. Um, now, now we're on the second floor. So there's going to be a bed here, bed there. And I plan to cut out a portion of the floor so that you could see the second floor from the first floor, right? Now, here's how... This is where things get in, get interesting. So this piece, this is going to be a wall. This wall is going to be screwed into this pillar, right? These are screwed in. Now, this wall is going to be screwed into this wall because it's going to have this piece of wood, and we're going to have the screws go this way. So this it gets screwed this way, and then it gets screwed this way. Right, so this piece holds these two walls together. Same thing for that, same thing for that, same thing for that, right? Now, we also um, will have this interesting portion, right? So now this triangle is going to screw in into, this, into the second floor's um, base right right here right so it's attached to the wall here then we're gonna have this roof right and that I plan to reinforce with there's gonna be a piece of wood that comes from here 
and get screwed into this piece of wood, right? And then on top, we're gonna we're gonna take this roof and we're gonna screw it onto bam, 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 screw it in like that. Then there is another piece of wood right in the middle, and then get that gets screwed in like this, right? And then finally the last one. Also, the roof will be screwed in from this portion, like that, and like that, right? Now, how do we make it? How do we make it waterproof? I have no idea. <laughs> now, here's another interesting portion about this this structure, is that this part is going to come out, right? Because uh, on the bottom, that's that's where our our floor is. It comes out it comes out this much. So here we're not going to have a roof like this because we need this space. We need this space to climb up the climb up the ladder. There's going to be another small little ladder right here that is going to allow us to go into the tent. Now the tent is going to be built on top of the railings. So uh, this is this is the wooden piece, and we're going to have really strong pieces of wood that are going to go across like this. And then we're going to take the tent. We're going to cut the floor of the tent to make to make this opening. Uh, and that way, we can hand, hang the chandelier from the tip of the tent, and it's going to go all the way down through, from here through the through the for the floor of the tent floor of the second floor and then finally end up on the bottom so that when we stand here we can look up and we will be able to see the very top of the, of the temple. Uh, now my question to you is what can we do right now I plan to have pieces of wood that are going to go across like, like this to reinforce this floor right. Now this, this, is, this, this structure is pretty strong these, these railings are, are very robust so my question to you is what else can we do to reinforce this floor, right? Is there something that we possibly have to have here? Or is it is it something that has to be here? Uh, but maybe, you know, uh, potentially it has to be another piece like that, right? That we can then place this one on top. And I don't know, do we have to have something here possibly? This is the border that will prevent people from falling onto the first floor um, when they sleep. Obviously, it's going to be a little higher, but this is just demonstrational. And same thing right here on the top. Um, might as well draw it right now. It's going to be something like this, right, to make sure that people don't fall. But they can still put their belongings over there. So, because, you know, safety is always our priority. But this is a small structure. So, obviously, honestly, like, even if, I mean, I'm going to speak for myself, but if I fall all the way from here, all the way to the floor, nothing's going to happen. Like, I mean, it's, it's, you, can't, you can't even, in real life, you can't even stand up in full height underneath this structure. And we're going to be elevating the floor. So, really, this, this is like a seating, um, th this, this is like four feet. In real life, this this is going to be maybe five, five, four, yeah, four feet max, I believe. Uh, now, these are storage units. Uh, these will open up this way. Uh, and then there's going to be storage right there underneath. Uh, and this is another um, piece. So this is where the bed is going to be. You can climb in there. Here we have the sound system. So this is the, the two subwoofers. The two subwoof subwoofers are positioned right here, so um, you will have all the vibrations coming from the back seat. So when you lean on this this couch, right, and this is also a cover that's going to come up so that you can use all this space in here for storage, right? All that's going to be storage. Um, then you'll feel the vibrations, and also there's two speakers right here. So it it's going to feel like you're wearing headphones as if w when you're sitting right there. So the bass from the back sound from the from both sides so uh it's going to be perfect surround sound even with just two speakers and two subwoofers so um another question that i had for you is how can we reinforce these walls 
Uh, so if you can tackle those four questions, then I would greatly appreciate it. In summary, how long is this? How can we re reinforce that? How can we reinforce that? How can we reinforce this floor? That's about it. Let me know your thoughts and I'm excited to build this. Oh yeah, and by the way, this is going to be uh, on the outside. It's not gonna really have, this is just decorative. Um, it's not gonna have any structural uh, purpose. Um, this is just something to make it look super crazy. I hope you like my chandelier.